Howdy, citizen. Well, Peter wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. I'm doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. Oh, figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie. His right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless... you prefer the girl. Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... you'll see. Okay, let's investigate. I hear there was a breakthrough in the investigation. Ader found Lucas's weapon. What's happening here? I don't want to fight with you guys unless there are bandits. Many guys. What? Sounds good. Plantation, nice. Is this the windmill? Work out and fight as the stars shine with their blessed light. Their gifts are great. There's this healer or something. Well, it does. Nice. Protectors of the weak no more. The night. 
banish all your fears and burn all your boats. You must throw aside all that you yearn. Once you've sworn the night runners oath, there will be no more way back home. Though you may believe they are all long gone. Mm. Skill points. Forty stamina required. Pin grip. Yep, I will need that. You shall always find and fear not. Oh, the packages are back. Nice. Oh, and I found some medicine. Ooh. No, the the new one. Crafting station. Don't mean kids shouldn't be learning. What's going on here? Hello, I'm Henkel. This student here was curious about my lesson today, about when the guns were confiscated in Villador, and what happened afterwards. He wants to light a candle on the site of the March Massacre. The March Massacre? Yes. Sixty-four people died that day. Gunned down like sitting ducks. If you want to know more, you should go and see for yourself. Why can't he? No one can leave the building while school is in session. Children shouldn't walk around the bazaar on their own. Hmm. I thought you'd be more worried about them falling into a dark zone. Oh, kids nowadays are too smart to fall into a silly hole. Anyway, could you light a candle for him, young man? You might learn something yourself. Sure, though I was pretty lousy at history. History is boring when someone tells you about it. It starts being fascinating when you can touch it. Touch it? Yes. Take this candle and go to the monument of the World Art Congress. Or what's left of it. It's close by. Contact me when you get there. You'll see what my lesson was about today. Some easy XP, well... UV bar, I think I will need those. Uh, let's sell some stuff. Or maybe sell everything, man. Uh, okay, I sold everything. Hopefully, I did not sell... Uh, or, or my trophies. <laughs> um, he does not upgrade. And I'm okay. Oh, why is the damage? Kind of want that. Hmm. All right, get the trophy. <clears throat> I kind of want this console. How do I do that? Um, I'm clicking and I need to level up. Uh, okay, better medicine. Nice. Did I sell my trophies? No, I did not because I was able to. I was able to upgrade right now. Mm, journal. Yeah, the history lesson. Let's try this. 
I'm kind of curious what this is about. Caption, four people lift. Must be heavy. Stuck? No. Fortunately. What is this building? Forsaken Star. Some World of Warcraft hey, shit. Uncle. I'm at the monument. You were right. Not much left of it. Good. Look closely. There is much more to it than meets the eye. Investigate the square. Aren't you dead, man? Is this like a swimming swimmer zombie or something? Oh, he just died. Hmm. more to this place I wonder what happened here that is where the riots started people were terrified how could they protect themselves and their families there was massive unrest so a curfew was put in place and homes were raided to ensure no one was hiding any weapons. Punishment for those who didn't comply was quite severe. Ah, there's a plaque here. Oof, a lot of names on it. Are those the victims of a massacre? Yes, 64 names. Things were starting to get pretty bad outside the walls around then, and the army needed more weapons. So they confiscated the civilians' weapons. Private ownership of any sort of firearm and its ammunition was forbidden thereafter. Three? What? Are you? Shots were fired. Oh. The army started shooting at people. Panic broke out. And of course, things only got worse. The riots escalated. It was the beginning of the end. Light the candle. So you're saying that Pratt made a bad call, taking people's guns away? Hard to know for sure, but it didn't end well for anyone. In fact, the main irony <laughs> is that the army soon ran out of ammunition. And just like that, firearms became obsolete. At least, that's what's generally believed to have happened. Now, you'll hear some folks claim that Pratt kept a secret stash of ammunition somewhere in the city. But if so, he took that secret to the grave. 
So I guess we'll never really know. And that's the thing about history. We rarely ever really know. It's not a hard science. History is fragile as the passing of time. It takes the vigilance of people like myself to make sure it's not rewritten to suit the whim of each new generation's self-righteous fight. The duty of remembrance. Everyone should practice it. Farewell now, Pilgrim. I hope this little trip down memory lane has illuminated your path. Mm. Okay. Oh, we got a trinket. Oh, Jiri Anomaly. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay, okay. Can't run on such things. Is this like the end of the map here? No. Something. Okay, let's keep on with the main mission. This really pisses me off, man. Where is that inhibitor? Maybe it's the anomaly zone? Oh, or maybe here. Maybe the store. Nope. Too high. Okay, let's help this guy. Swooping in, man.
Take Erica in with you. Erica. Well, her sometimes I haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. You're Aiden, right? You saved my life. How can I repay you? What? What? Hey, who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, Pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. <laughs> Who would have thought? The Pilgrim in the Bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Bad. And getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Not really. But uh, why don't you tell me more about your people? We are called the people of the bazaar, simply because of where we live. But who we are truly, are free people. Free from lies, free from money, free from religion, wars, politics, and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth. That sounds great. Too good to be true, in fact. Oh, we have our challenges. Water is scarce, for example. But with courage and patience, we will someday create a paradise. Well, you seem almost thankful for the collapse of civilization. It was as tragic as it was inevitable. Consumerism, belief in the almighty dollar led to this catastrophe. So, we here strive not to make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. We want to create a new order based on social bonds, on family and community. A society where people support each other and adhere to justice. No need for the police, military, or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect. We have a place for everyone. But let's get back to your stories. Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you, then? I'm not really a fan of this metaphor. Ah, oh, yes. I see. Pilgrims are not people of metaphors or poetry. They prefer to act. Yeah, about acting. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? That's my business. Not when you're on my turf, Pilgrim. But fine, I'll humor you. Your business, whatever it may be, 
is not a threat to us. After all, you're just one man, and we are many. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. And I really hope your business doesn't make Herman angry. Farewell, my friend. Sometimes I can't. We did the guy. The awful sound, the infected the drop sounds, the but how do I start uh, what is that big guy? While you're there, don't upset Herman. <sighs> Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Looking for a job? I only work with people I trust. You came from outside. They wanted to hang you. Nobody says anything good about you, Pilgrim. Do you want me to trust you? Talk to the people at the bazaar. See if you can gain their trust. Oh, no. If so, then it might persuade me to change my mind. Haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. I will need my help. My pal Steve put on a biomarker he had not infected. Three days later, he was gone. Whoever killed him must have been very strong. You're worrying about something, and then everything works out. Truly, you're going to sad places today. There she does, and she's against it. Take him away. Hidden behind this collapsed metal cap. Aiden, tell them. Tell them Marco poisoned the water. Stop blaming others for your crimes! Aiden knows the truth. What are you waiting for, Ed? Hold up. This is serious business. So let's just... Let's hear what Aiden has to say. Aiden. Two men are dead. Bevan's husband, Luke, and Hans the Hunter. Julian says you know the truth. So tell us what you know. What's in it for me to say anything? A clear conscience? Though from what I hear, not many pilgrims can claim one of those. If you really know something, please tell us. Aiden, please, don't make this a negotiation. Men have died. I visited Julian's supplier. Nothing wrong with his water. I told you, string him up! But, but I didn't poison the water. Guys, Aiden! Get him out of my sight, Ed. Stop. Please, don't do this to me. Let's go, Julian. You can plead your case to the council. Well, I guess he's out. Got a gig as a 